Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be your guide on how to make a Shopify store for services. I'm going to be diving deep into all the aspects of selling online and in-person professional services through your Shopify store. A lot of people don't yet realize that Shopify has extensive support for directly monetizing your skills, knowledge, or expertise through structured product offerings. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set up these service goods using variant dynamic customization options, availability calendars, payment scheduling, and more. So by the end, you will know how to turn everything from life coaching to freelance consulting into bookable Shopify powered service experiences. So in entering our service title, description, images, and other product details, we simply want to focus on conveying value just as you would an actual physical item for purchase. So to demonstrate, let's imagine I operate an online personal training business, helping clients reach fitness goals through virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm going to be selling direct access to my expertise through scheduled video chat sessions, purchasable right on my Shopify store. So to get started, we want to log into our Shopify admin. And if you don't have an account yet, you can create an account for free. It will give you three day free trial. And then after that, you will have to maintain your Shopify store by purchasing one of the three plans right here. I highly recommend checking our special link in the description box down below. When signing up using our link, you will get the three day free trial and then you will only have to pay $1 a month for three consecutive months on any of these three plans. It is a temporary offer, so go ahead and check that one out. So after you've created your account, you will be presented with the dashboard right here. Click on products in the left menu bar, followed by add product to set up a new offering. For the title, I'll keep it simple and benefit focused. So I'm going to be naming it personalized online training. After that, you want to craft an informative description covering key details about your potential customers. Think what a customer would care about when viewing your store, and most of them would care about exact format, so 50-minute video chat sessions, training areas, so strength building, flexibility, nutrition, losing weight, and then there's the qualifier, so this is where like your credibility comes in. So if you're a certified trainer with 10 plus years of experience or some kind of certificates that you've obtained for your journey, this is the place where you would want to showcase that. And then you can add an include section for fully customized workout and diet planning and deliverables if you offer those such as video recordings and workout notes provided after each appointment. I can also upload relevant images if I have like a welcome graphic or a headshot and even client success stories to build credibility. This overview clearly sets the buyer expectations around the service experience being sold. Further down under pricing, I would add my desired hourly rate for the training, let's say $60 per session. And since the appointments are virtual, I will ensure that the product type selected is digital rather than a physical shipment. For a simple single service, you may only require one main variant with the option for customers to book multiple hours at once. But adding supplemental options can be valuable as well. So one major advantage of products on Shopify, it's the variant. This allows me to segment out multiple specialized service packages under one parent product. For example, I may also want to upsell at a nutrition coaching bundle or fitness accountability partnership. Variants enable keeping things reasonably organized while offering expanded services. A customer can view the options and then select their desired add-on during the checkout exactly as they would choose product variants. On the back end, everything still aggregates into your centralized inventory and sales tracking too. So once your initial service product setup looks good, preview how it displays on the front end store. Check out the customer purchasing experience by adding your item to the cart and proceeding through the checkout. From their perspective, key things to validate, details clearly explain what's included at each stage, delivery method and timeline expectations are outlined, pricing and frequency options make sense, Refining descriptions, visuals, and service packaging structure is crucial before actively selling to maximize customer satisfaction once the orders start rolling in. Now, once you've set up your services to sell, ensuring smooth scheduling for appointments or calls is crucial for executing consistently great experiences. So here are some tips for effectively managing the capacity. You want to limit quantities, just like tickets for an event, you can cap the signups per service batch. So when you make the inventory thresholds per offering, this avoids overbooking while also creating product urgency. You can also show availability slots by incorporating some apps into your Shopify store. Apps such as Recharge work beautifully for displaying open appointment times and instantly reserving spots as orders roll in. Prevent the double booking and efficiently manage calendars. You can even program dynamic alerts if becoming over capacity with certain services based on your ideal client bandwidth. 
And of course, collect 100% of the cost at checkout to claim calendar spots. Even if the sessions happen later, reserving availability eliminates the flakiness while also incentivizing the commitment. And that's essentially everything you need to know to get started with your Shopify store selling your own services on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll be happily answering them or even making a video dedicated to answer your questions. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can create related to Shopify.